Russell Letterman here with uh, another Binotron video. I'm holding a Binotron 27 Super System set up for a Newtonian. This also has a filter switch on it. A lot of people ask, hey, with the filter switch on, do I need even more in travel to reach focus in low power? And low power is always if you can see the logo right in here on the power switch, we always put low for logo. So this is where the low power arm is. And no, you don't need extra focus because we make this nose section longer to compensate for the filter switch addition. But I'm just going to show you how you focus with a Newtonian. Now, you want to push in your logo side and you're going to move the unit all the way in until it's flush in your Newtonian scope. You've got the low power arm in. You're going to rack all the way in. And if you're looking through the eyepieces and your diffraction pattern is still big, it's closing down and it stops, well, what you do is you thread out this middle spacer from the nose piece. Right now, we're pulling away from the nose piece. You can see that the space is increasing. And we're going to load it all the way back in flush. Now, where is that star? Is it down here, the diffraction pattern, and not quite focused? Or have you gone into focus and then just past focus? That's where you want to be. So if you move it in and you're still not reaching in travel and reaching focus, then you thread this out further. We're going to still thread it out. You can see that space is increasing here. Once we get it just past focus, so you reach focus, then you rack in, and there's a little bit of in-travel left, and the star focuses down and then starts opening back up just a little. That's where you want to be. Once you're there, you want to take this silver lock ring here. We try to keep these fairly loose so that they're ready to be threaded down. This one is really tight and it shouldn't be. Give me a second here. There we go. Okay, now we're going to thread this down. Just, just the lock ring. We'll thread it all the way down until we become flush with the nose piece. And that is essentially going to lock this system in place. See, so right now we're turning it. It's taken a while because I'm sort of at an awkward angle trying to give you a quick video tutorial here uh, with my iPhone. Nothing fancy here. We want to keep these videos kind of small so that I could down upload them or download them, whatever the term is. I guess upload in a reasonable amount of time. So now we're locked in. Boom. Now your setting is there for low power. When you go with the arms out, that's mid power. You're going to rack out. When you push in the opposite non-logo side arm, that's the highest power. You're going to rack out the furthest. If you don't reach focus on the outward end, then you're going to slide the unit out of the focuser just a bit. So thanks for listening, and we'll keep putting these video tutorials on. Russ Letterman from Dank Meyer Optical signing off.